young professionals are quitting. Quitting their jobs within two to three years of joining some of the biggest startups and most sought after traditional companies alike. Hiring quality talent comes at a huge cost for companies. Spends on hiring exercises are a major cost for companies as well. Frustrated with the trend, some have decided to take matters into their own hands. Low employee productivity in the initial months necessitates heavy training expenditure for roles that require specialization. Companies hope to recoup these expenses over a period of time. However, that seems difficult as young employees are leaving within two to three years of joining. This has become a serious headache for employers. A couple of things are happening. Uh, I mean, one was linked to the great resignation with people having less patience in jobs that they're not happy with and uh, looking elsewhere. In India, it's more to do with the fact that all of a sudden, post-pandemic, uh, there were a bunch of opportunities which came up, especially for the tech talent and from the tech sector. Uh, new jobs mushroomed, startups were doing really well. So people uh, very, uh, very uh, visibly had a choice, which earlier we didn't see. And when you have a choice, you shop around and you go for the best uh, opportunity and the best pay package. And that was really, really high uh, last couple of years. To nip this trend in the bud, employers are incentivizing employees to stay back by offering them sabbaticals, watches and even cash bonuses. Online furniture startup Pepperfry, for example, is offering employees who complete three years of employment a month-long sabbatical. And those who have completed a decade of service are being rewarded with luxury Rado watches. Electronics major Panasonic is offering cash and additional medical benefits and insurance to those who have worked with the company for more than five years. In the short term, many companies uh, threw money uh, and there were, uh, you know, wage wars and so on and so forth. But we have seen and that's uh, not a long term solution, it's a short term fix, right? So I think the smarter uh, companies have started to look at what is it that will help them retain people. More exposure to different functions, uh, learning and uh, development, ability to learn, reskill, because we all know that with technology skills are getting redundant very quickly. So how well they are able to shape up for the future. Uh, if they can take care of that, then employees are staying. So that's one big area. Of course, then things like building on the larger value proposition, a longer term uh, you know, recognition culture. One of India's most sought after employer, the Tata Group, is also facing this problem. To address the issue, Tata Group company Tata Power has introduced a dashboard to monitor the overall financial and emotional well-being of its employees. Nokri.com, which recently published a survey on the future of jobs market, is predicting a pickup in hirings across the board in months to come. Another key finding of the survey is the rate of attrition, which is likely to climb up. Half of the 1400 recruiters surveyed foresee more than 15% attrition rate. As another round of hiring starts, it will become more and more difficult for employers to be able to retain employees. So short-term fixes like these is not all that the companies are counting on. Adapting to the changing employment patterns and putting systems in place to retain talent once hired is the likely way forward.